Shalom, family. Shalom. This is Grammy, y'all. Yes, out here in this garden once again. I believe it's 80 degrees in sunny North Carolina. I am in 8A is my grow zone. All right. So today video is going to be a short video on all the things that we are doing to keep from having vine borers and squash bugs all right so <laughs> everybody know that those things are relentless some people don't even grow squash anymore for the simple fact that they just decimate their squash plants so been there done that um last year i barely even got a, a good harvest because they came fast and they came ugly <laughs> And they came fierce. <laughs> so today, I'm going to come fast. I'm going to come ugly. And I'm going to come fierce. Because I am on the attack for those vine borers and those um, squash plants. All right. First of all, I ordered some nets. And I got these nets off of Amazon. And what I can, what I can do, I will leave the link to this net you guys and it was only like four dollars for a a six by 16 six by 16 okay so i ordered a couple of them and like i said i got it for like four dollars plus taxes because it was a 50 percent coupon attached to it so yeah so me personally um i'm tired of growing these squash plants I love squash. You can do a lot of things with squash. And I love also sharing my squash. But um, I haven't been able to share them like I wanted to. But guess what? I think, I think I have the solution. I am just going to hand pollinate all my squash this year. Yes, I know it's a little time consuming. But that's okay. I have nothing but time on my hands anyway. I am retired. I will pollinate whatever female squash that I run across. This way I know that I will get at least a 90 to 95% yield on my squash plants this year. You know, I've done the, put the luma foil around the base of the squash plant. Been there, done that. I've done the neem oil. I've done the dish detergent. I've put the uh, the flowers out that's supposed to, um, that they don't like to smell. I've done all that, you guys. And so this year, I'm just going to take a drastic measure and just go ahead and just hand pollinate every last one of them. And so I'm going to bring you over here. I have hubby. He's putting up some wood stakes because, like I said, I'm covering my plants this year and I'm going to go in there and hand pollinate them. All right, here we go. These are just one, this is one area of my squash plants, you guys. I have a total of 32 squash plants. Yes. Yes, I do. So, um, I'm gonna get it covered. So he's um, putting up wood stakes for me, and then we're gonna cover it with the netting. Honey, um, is that gonna be like my door that I go in right there? Oh, okay. While I'm waiting for hubby to finish doing what he needs to do, I do have one squash plant over here all by itself. I am not stingy i am willing to share so if the squash bugs want to have at it at this one they can and let me bring you over here to my other area where i have some squash at you guys i'm not playing i'm not playing with these jokers this year i want my squash okay and if you can see there is squash there is squash and I've been hand pollinating them myself. I don't know what happened to the bees. The bees, I don't know. 
we can't buy a bee but can you buy bees <laughs> let me show you this is all from hand pollination you guys i pollinated this one right here this morning um you can tell because the flower is still on it and it's small but this one right here that one was yesterday and let me show you what i've done with my corn the corn is getting so tall you guys and what i've done was i tied some strings around it and put some little stakes down and they are just the marshmallow roasting sticks don't tell my grandsons <laughs> i use their marshmallow roasting sticks i gotta replace them but yeah that's that's all i did because we don't want them to um fall over when we have a real um bad storm or high winds look at this look look at this you guys look how tall this is and let me just get on over here and let you see what these watermelons are doing look at that they are vining they are really really vining you guys but i am going to have to find some pollinators from somewhere i am back over here with papa ya so you're going to go down the whole road like that honey yeah it all depends on how much i'm using up what we have That looks good. Would you just mark it so you can cut it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. You gonna get your glasses? Okay. Safety first. Oh yeah, that looks good. Just tack it up against this board here. So I'm gonna let Papa y'all finish doing some of the work, and we will go back once uh, he's gone a little further in it. But uh, I just pulled up on Google to find out when does the squash bugs come, and in North Carolina, they said mid to the end of May. So we got to get cracking. talking about that might be a good idea that? to do to do that as far as the uh, the flexi the bin the flexi, that the way bin. I can walk under it yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, it is almost done. We got the size put on and we got to put the top on and this is where I'm going to 
enter. So, so far, so good. We're going to try to finish in the next couple of days before those squash bugs come. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are finally finished. <laughs> I mean, we came up with different ideas and, and um, we changed this and this one didn't work. And so we decided to just go ahead and go with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have hubby to explain how this squash bug protector works. Okay. Well, this is what I came up with. How she will enter. You just fold it back like this and she'll just walk in. Just move it as, as she goes. It's also the same for this here. from there so you get the concept yeah so hey this is this is awesome because i was able to come out here today and like i said i will be hand pollinating it all the squash and i came here and i came through here and i just pruned the leaves because it was it was looking like a jungle and so i got rid of a lot of the leaves and we just hope and pray that this works. All right, honey, you want to close it up for the people so they can see? And like I said, I got the uh, fabric off of Amazon. I don't know if it's still $4 because it had like a 50% uh, percent coupon attached to it. But hey, this is it. And so the netting is all the way around, and then that's how we just close it off. So we pray that this will keep the squash bugs and the vine borers out of our squash. Thanks, hon. So over here, you guys, we decided to just go ahead and just wing it. I will continue on hand pollinating because... You guys, have you guys had any problem with not seeing any honeybees? I mean, we cannot find a bee, you guys. Let me know in the comment box if you are having problems um, finding or even seeing pollinators, you guys. I just don't know. I mean, I was going to, you know, hand pollinate anyway, but now it looks like I have to. All right. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue on hand pollinating them. And I'm going to put uh, marigolds down. And I also, one of my viewers sent me some peppermint oil. So um, I heard that the peppermint oil deter a lot of the bugs. So in the evening, I would just spray some peppermint oil in water. You know, shake it up really good because, you know, oil and water doesn't mix. So every time you spray your plant, shake it up. And so that peppermint oil will be around here, you guys. So, um, and that will hopefully deter some of these vine borers and these squash bugs. As you can see, there, there are squash out here. But the bees didn't do it. Grammy, y'all did it. <laughs> Let me get back over here. You guys, I think we did pretty good. You know, we are amateurs. We only been at this gardening game for like three years. We've been in North Carolina for three years. So we also um, tally up the cost. It only cost us about $25 for this whole um, squash bug prevention <laughs> mechanism. Yes, that is cheaper than a bag of groceries. So, hey... I think it's going to work, you guys. So if you like this video, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Y'all know I do. But guess what? I love the most high more. Shalom.